if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people damn welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new it's your girl miss and i'm back with another video oh 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 so i'm gonna be going through my blush collection now i'm not gonna show you every single blush but i'm gonna be showing you the majority of the blushes that i have accumulated in my collection you know blushes are one of my favorite things when it comes to makeup so talking about blushes girl ain't gonna be no surprise to nobody i'm going to advise you guys from now get yourself comfortable get a drink get a snack whatever that floats your boat because this might be a long video so we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna give you guys some swatches and all that goodness I've got a mixture of face palettes cream blushes and powder blushes so I'm gonna show you guys the face palettes first and then we'll move on to the next you know I'm gonna start off with the beauty bakery one this is the better not bitter palette now this is actually quite expensive this retails for about 40 pounds on look fantastic I do have a discount code which will save you 20% off just in case for the blush the blush is called La Vida Mocha which I absolutely love the names in this palette so this is what the palette looks like so that is the shade and it is a beautiful deep brownish orange shade swatches beautifully it's not really a glittery consistency it's more of a satin with a slight sheen to it it is so beautiful like especially if you're dark skin or deep dark and you just want that sort of nice burnt rosy look to the cheeks when i have that more of that tanned bronzy look i love using the shade so stunning just oh beautiful i'm gonna try not to repeat myself but I can't help but to repeat certain words because that's just that part of my vocabulary sis. Then we've got the two face palettes from Tammy Clark in collaboration with Makeup Revolution. She's got a medium dark and a deep dark palette. So the deep dark palette is called Golden Hour and the medium palette is called Paradise Glow. So in Paradise Glow and this shade of blush you guys know is like my favourite colour. Anything that's orange on coral is just a bit of me. And it's pretty much your standard orange blush. But it's not too deep orange subtle blush if you're dark skin and the shade from the palette is called tropical queen and then from the second palette called golden hour which is this one here but this one is called blush baby girl and it's just your typical berry shade really really nice shade once again very pigmented when i go for berry and deep plummy looks i personally like to wear them like nightwear when i do like a night glam um oranges are more like my go-to everyday look but it's a very beautiful shade so whilst we're talking about revolutions and um, collaborations the next face palettes that i have are the patricia bright one one is called you are gold and i think the deepest one is called dust till dawn this is the one from you are gold Descriptions is not my best thing, you know, but my god try and look or something something. But yeah, it's a re oh the shade. So oh listen, you can't have chat for me. But that is the blush from the You Are Gold one. Really, really nice and flattering. This is also an everyday wearable look as well. This gives you like a really nice flush of colour to your skin and I really like it and then we've got dust to dawn okay, it's got more of like a marvy shade so that one is from the dust to dawn palette from Patricia Bright and I think this is gonna be my last face palette I think so I am obsessed with this face palette this one is once again in collaboration with revolution by a sweet girl called Roxy on Instagram and YouTube this is the blush burst palette I think this was part of her third collaboration that came out last year and it's pretty much got all your pink tone now i'm not gonna swatch every single shade of this i do have a dedicated video swatching all the shades and actually demonstrating these shades as well but if you love pinks i'm telling you this palette is the way forward and as you can see like this part of the palette is like quite light and these are more deeper tones these are still quite wearable on my skin tone um and obviously this is definitely gonna be wearable for my skin tone but honestly what i tend to do literally just rub my whole entire brush in the palette and it gives you like the perfect pink concussion on the cheeks where it's not ashy it's not like barbie looking it's just beautiful just for example this is like the darkest shades which is this one down here like oh, it's just like a beautiful orangey pink and this one here 
um, which is like a pinky shade and it does look quite ashy but I'm telling you when you mix it all together it's beautiful once again before I actually take off these blushes and um, that one's from Beauty Bakery that one's from Paradise Glow that was from Golden Hour both of them Tammy Clark's um, face palette that one was from Patricia Bright's face palette in collaboration with Revolution from You Are Gold that one is from Dust Till Dawn this one was just in a demonstration from the Roxy palette, the deepest, darkest one, and that was just one of the pink shades. So, like, look at these shades on me. Can anyone have chat for me? Okay, so I'm going to go to the cream blushes. Once again, got a good mixture of high-end and drugstore. So, in no particular order, but I am going to start off with this one because this is the newest one to my collection. And it's the cream blush from M -M -M Mitchell or Made by Mitchell. And... Speaking about this year, I actually can't believe he posted me on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. Missy Dot Sits. Okay. And yeah, like he posted me on Instagram. And when I say all my people then were like reposting it on their stories, I was literally waking up from a nap. And I was like, huh? Like, what's going on here? And yeah, he actually like watched my video. So. I was really really shocked by that but anywho this is the blush and this is in the shade where's the SPF honestly speaking I have never ever ever hands down come across such a pigmented cream blush like this of all the blushes that I'm gonna show you this is definitely the most pigmented one when it comes to cream blushes I do prefer these Dolph applicators because I think it's just easier to apply all up in your face orange you can't get more orange than that like i'm sorry that is an orange shade now this has a matte formula so it is very important that you apply a little bit and then blend it out and if you want a little bit more control i personally like to use a damp beauty sponge because i feel like it helps maneuver the product because where this is a matte formula it doesn't have the amount of slip in comparison to other cream blushes that are a little bit on a dewy side so i do like using my damp sponge just to help blend it out and i will have to emphasize this once again a little goes a long way girl because if you put too much you're in you're in problem so the next one i'm going to mention is from mua um makeup academy and this is their blush liquid cream in the shade watermelon this is actually really inexpensive i'm pretty sure it was about three pounds this one is about 14 pounds from Memo Mitchell and I feel like this is less than five pounds. The only thing is it comes in the squeezy tube, like toothpaste tube. So you just have to be careful that you don't squirt. Oh no there. You don't, you know. <laughs> don't Don't think yeah, sorry, you can't you just be careful here. Yeah. <laughs> no, stop now, behave. What's wrong with me? A really nice coral pinky shade very very flattering on the skin i would definitely say this is more buildable so once you blend it out it doesn't look as pigmented as this when you do blend it out it does share it out a little bit um but it's really really nice and it just gives you the very lightest sort of subtle dewy glow to your skin so the next one is from nars and they came out with these air matte blushes which looks like so so it literally comes in the similar containers like the soft matte cream um concealers but these are bigger this is actually quite expensive extra now the only thing is is that because it's in this jar and if you've got nails it's just very inconvenient to take it out with your fingers so i personally would advise to use a brush it literally has like a very soft moussey velvet texture that's literally the only way i can explain it so it doesn't give you the sort of glowy dewy lip from within look it is quite matte very similar to the MUA one but just a little bit more pink and slightly lighter the next cream brushes are from the famous Fenty Beauty and these are her sweet cheeks or cheeks out yeah cheeks out cream brushes I got two I've got the shade summertime wine and also got the shade rose latte I have lived in this dipped in this everything in this like it is honestly these blushes are stunning so that one is summertime wine just a really nice everyday wearable pinky shade and what i love about this formula what i'm obsessed about these formulas they give you the skin like glow like i've got it on my face at the moment and underneath a powder blush 
and honestly it just gives you like the most can anyone have chatted to me today no one can chat to me so in combination with the skin tint which i am wearing today from fenty and this on a hot day girl but she doesn't give me more life than rose latte i'm not gonna lie i was trying to hunt for a dupe to rose latte rose latte is just a bit of me this is an everyday wearable shade it's a rosy brown nude that's the only way i can explain it if you are afraid of blushes and you're not really into oranges you're not really into the pinks you're not even into the purple this is your gal okay like this is this is for you it just gives you the most beautiful natural flush on your cheek so the next three i'm going to show you guys are from revolution and these are part of the super dewy collection now even though they are super dewy or part of the super dewy collection they're not super dewy in terms of consistency they're very nice affordable i think these retail about five pounds and out of the five they came out all three of the dark shades work really really well so the first one i'm going to show you guys is called flushing for you i like the fact that it comes once again in these kind of tubes because i feel like they're just easier to apply so this is oh oh mama clot this one down here is called flushing for you she does look quite pale i'm not gonna lie to you she actually does look quite pale but i have used this quite a few times and honestly it doesn't give you that ashy look it just gives you like a soft pink look and then by the time me personally top it up with a different blush it just marries really well with a blush that i choose to wear the next one is called you got me blushing so it's just slightly deeper definitely a little bit more wearable really really nice just a nice pink shade to be honest <laughs> literally and then this one is more described as like a rosy brown tone which was like one of the first shades i added in my basket to be fair so the last one there is called blush me up and i will probably say it's a little bit more brown and marvy so if you're a little bit more deeper i would definitely suggest to go for this one because on my skin tone using this shade it's so close to my skin tone it literally looks like it just melts into my skin i can't really explain you would definitely be able to see there's something there but it is quite close to my skin tone so it just gives me that sort of perk of a something on my cheeks if that makes sense so it's not really that outstanding then we've got the famous elf ones i'm really sorry but i can't remember the names because the elf packaging doesn't actually comes with the name of the shades i think this one is maldives fiji am i making it up i don't know i'm just gonna have to pop it on the screen yeah so but this is the orangey one pop it on the screen now here you go that's the name of the shade so that is the one from elf oh my god the swatching is getting even worse so this is the one from elf now i'm gonna be honest with you these consistency or the formulas of the elf blushes i am obsessed with because they give you the same sort of illusion as the fenty cream ones where they're quite like dewy and hydrating on the skin which i personally like sis because you guys know i'm normal to dry so i live for that dewy look and this is what you get from the elf the only thing is with the elf putty blushes they're quite on the sheer side so you do have to build it up i personally like to just build it up with a brush because using a sponge it literally just disappears to be honest but once again they are quite inexpensive i really love the formula this one i'm pretty sure 95 percent is called maldives basically more of your burgundy shade so if you like a bit of a you know va -va -voom look especially when it comes to nighttime girl this is your baby girl and that's what it looks like i'm so sorry about like the whole swatching situation i am going to get a little bit more close up as well but yeah that one at the bottom is more deeps okay and then we're down to the last set of cream brushes which are from nyx and these are the sweet cheeks nyx sweet cheeks soft cheeks tint there is one more shade that i want to get so i might have to do like an updated version by the end of the year because there's so many different brushes like from pat mcgrath um marina butte like there's so many different brushes that i want to get but i'm just showing you guys the ones that i have so far now the first one is called bombshell which looks like this once again it comes with a really nice sort of tear dropped applicator like it just makes life so much easier but that is bombshell it's like a dusty marvy pink 
so flattering like literally one of my favorite shades favorite one you guys know i always literally talk about this damn blush and it is the almost famous one <laughs> Oh, look at the orange. Like, it's so nice. It's very similar to SPF from M -M -M Mitchell, but it's not as deep, if that makes sense. But this is, this blush, nobody can have chat for me. Like, it's a beautiful, everyday orange look, even though these oranges look quite scary. Honestly speaking, when you blend it out, it just, mm, just makes the skin look, I'm telling you that for free. So these are all the swatches. I'm gonna have to stand up to show you guys properly. And I'm gonna have to try to remember in order. <laughs> but that one is made by Mitchell. Remember Mitchell, where's the SPF? That one is from MUA in the shade Watermelon. This one is the NARS one called Torch. That one is the summertime one, summertime wine from Fenty Beauty. That one is in the shade Rose Latte from Fenty Beauty. So this one is in the shade Flushing for You. This one is in the shade You Got Me Blushing. And this one is in the shade Blush Me Up. So those three are from Revolution, the Super Dewy line, by the way. This one is from Elf. Once again, I need to double check the name, but I think it's called Fiji. That was from Elf in the shade Maldives. That one is from NYX in the shade Bombshell. And the last one is from NYX in the shade you Almost Famous. So those are all the blushes. I'm hoping you guys can see that well. So those are all the cream ones. So now we're down to the powder blushes. And I will pretty much be done, baby girls. Um, so the first one is from Revolution, or should I say Relove by Revolution. This is in the duo called Daydream. I have done separate reviews using these blushes as well. It's pretty much a coral shade. And these only retail for £3 for a blush and a highlighter. These are so pigmented as well. I was really, really surprised. Like, hello? This is in the shade Daydream. It's just a beautiful coral orange shade. Really, really nice. So flattering on the skin. And then the other one is called Baby. This is definitely my favorite duo out of the two. Um, yes, this highlighter is broken, but I was sent a replacement. And then I've got the one from e.l.f. This is a infused shimmer blush in the shade Always Lucky. So soft. And even though it's shimmery, I'm telling you, she's not she's not shimmery to the point that you can see. Oh girl, I'm telling you, she feels soft. I don't really see shimmer. I don't see any sort of glitter particles. Just a very nice satin matte. That's the only way I personally can describe it. The next one I'm gonna show you guys is from Emiway, and this is the matte powder blush in the shade Atomic. No, at Atomic Tangerine. Girl, I'm pretty sure this is less than two pounds. Is a vibrant pinky coral shade that's what it looks like down here very very pretty oh honestly when you apply it on the cheeks and no the construction work i'm trying to don't no don't do this to me i'm gonna have to work through this construction work because I want to try and film this before I have to go pick up my kids. So let me just try and do one thing. But anyway, so the next one I'm going to show you is from Ellie Girl. And this is actually one of my favorite ones from Ellie Girl called Just For Fun. And once again, it's very similar to the NYX Almost Famous Retro Beaming Orange. This is it. So pigmented. That is the shade Just For Fun so beautiful like just one of my favorite shades um and from Ellie girl as well which i don't really showcase her too much on my channel called just fearless so it's like your plummy shade but that's what it looks like really really nice i've seen one of my friends who's more deep dark skin myself wear it and it just looks very flattering and, and it doesn't look muddy you know i just Sometimes with these deep plummy shades, they can come across a little bit muddy and it definitely doesn't look like that. Okay, so the next two are from Revolution and these are the Reloaded blushes. These are actually quite old, as you can probably see by the packaging, but these are so nice. They retail for, oh, lighting's changed again. Okay, they retail for about four or five pounds. But the first one I've got is Pop My Cherry and it's, it literally looks like a red. I'm not gonna lie to you. She literally looks like a red. It's really, really nice on the skin. And it's like a tomato orangey red. That's the only way I can explain it, is this one down here. 
so beautiful love it next one is called baked peach so you can see like a different hair just a really nice once again a everyday wearable look it's just a, like a mixture of it's it's a peach it's a peach color like it's, it's actually a peachy color next blush i'm gonna show you guys is from sasha cosmetics can't remember the shades because like the right is pretty much gone but i think it's called amber glow girl she is pigmented like she's got more of a peachy undertone like that one is amber glow from sasha cosmetics she does have like a terracotta that's it She's a terracotta shade. The next brushes that I'm going to mention are once again from Revolution. And this is part of the XX Revolution line. And to be honest, I actually prefer the XX Revolution brushes than the original brushes from Revolution. I just feel like their colours are more fun. They're more vibrant. They're more deep. They're more options that are dark skin friendly, if that makes sense. So I do have three of them. Now the first one I'm going to show you guys, which is... Wow. I don't even know now. Backside. What's this called? I think... Yeah. Crack. Crank, yeah. First of all, these are hella pigmented, just to let you know. Like, they're really pigmented. I think these are about eight to ten pounds, so they're pretty much double the price than like the reloaded ones. This is in the shade Crank. Look at this shade, please. Like, girl, like, she is girl. Like, no, so pigmented to the point that it's scary. You can't say that shade is not pretty. Like, that shade at the bottom is beautiful. It's not an everyday wear, but, and, oh, backside is so pigmented. It's not an everyday wearable look or shade, in my personal opinion, but when you do pair it up to a makeup look, it looks amazing. Now, when I do go in with Crank, I have to use the littlest amount, because where she is very vibrant and in your face, unless you're going for that look, sis, you do need to use a little bit just for it to look wearable but i actually really do like the shade the next one is called jitter beautiful shade she looks a little bit washed out on camera but it is a soft peachy pink shade oh, just stunning see me wear the shade quite a few times on camera she does look very pale and dusty on my skin but honestly she looks really really nice on the skin i've used it on its own i actually prefer to use it in a concussion of a cream blush but the shade jitter is very pretty very fresh and girly she's just a little bit of me the last one i've got from excess revolution is obviously jaded i mean you need jaded in your collection girl like another orange shade similar to like ellie girl um just for fun you know the nyx one the orange ones basically very very nice this is the shade called raisin i think everyone has shade raisin like she is just your girl she is yeah that's what the shade looks like so the shade baby from the real love line looks very similar to raisin yeah i'm seeing it now you see the next one i got from once again nyx these are the sweet cheeks one i've got a matte formula and a glow formula the matte one is in the shade risky business and it's actually like my favorite ones that i have out of the matte formulas in my collection which looks like so i'm running out of space jeez louise but that was risky business and this one's a glowy one but and it's in the shade called red riot and that's what it looks like. I'm running out of space now. This is a problem. So the last two ones that I'm going to mention. One is from Milani. Used to have the shade Red Vino. Which was a red shade with like ripples of gold reflex in it. But she's gone missing for a while. So I have a feeling that my mum's got her, you know. But the one that I do have right now is Sunset. And that word that I can't pronounce. But it looks like this. And this one is not as shimmery as Red Vino. It doesn't really have that shimmery particles in it. Um, it's a really nice, subtle, rosy shade. Which looks like that. Very, very pretty. Then I've got the one from Beauty Bay. I think these are like £4. £4. So nice. This is in the shade Coral. You guys see me use Coral so many times. This is like the perfect sort of go-to shade. I probably said that a lot throughout this video. And I feel like this would suit more skin tones as well. Like if you're from like the medium deep category. And then the next one I've got is called Royal. Which again is that, that sort of plummy shade. So 
very similar to Risky Business from NYX actually. And the last two ones that I've got are from NARS. I was in between of picking the shade up, but I still want to showcase her. Um, this isn't her, you know, I can't help it but call my makeup her and she. But this is the shade Taj Mahal. And it's got like, oh sorry, it's got like an orange shade to it, but it's got loads of gold sheen over it so i feel like i don't really get the depth of the orange on my skin tone because swatching it like that looks beautiful you're not going to hardly press a blush on your cheek you're going to use a brush so when i use a brush you don't really get this tone or the shade you get more of the sheen of the gold particles on top if that makes sense so personally i do like to use this shade on top of another matte blush or using it as a highlighter nobody can have chat for me using this as a highlighter and when the sun hits you and your melanin is all glowing nobody can have chat to you, you know try not but my next one is exhibit a which i feel like a lot of million people have this in the collection already and this is what she looks oh like are you okay so she's like a retro orange but a little bit of a red undertone to it beautiful stunning pigmented in the backside so you can see the baby one from real love is very similar to raisin from mac that's the crank one from exits revolution do you see how vibrant that is all the blushes here very very pigmented and then on the other side <laughs> these are the other side of the ones that i swatched so these two are from the nars one now i know i went through a lot of blushes and for the life of me i actually cannot even remember which one I have swatched first <laughs> so to make everyone's life easier I'm gonna make sure to put the blushes in order from when I've mentioned them in the video if that makes sense just in case if anyone wants to go back on to see what I'm talking about because honestly now I'm going for all these blushes I actually can't even remember but I'm gonna give you guys my top favorite blushes okay to my people them yeah all know how to help me pan this one yeah but what can I use to tame the frizziness of my hair because my hair is proper getting like frizzy now and oh, I don't know, so just please help me. Please leave some sort of suggestions down below what I can do to tame it from doing that. But anyway, so I was able to narrow it down to 10 um, and it was very difficult. So I literally just went by the thought of me using it pretty much all the time, like regular use out of these products. So the first one I'm gonna say, I don't know if I'm cheating a little bit because there's pretty much multiple blushes, but it is the Roxy one. If I wanna go for like a pink look, a baby girl pink look, I always pick up this palette. It's just easy, it's convenient, it's got whole different type of shades and undertones of pinks. Now the next one is MAC. I had to mention my MAC one because my MAC Raisin one, she is just a staple. She is an OG, okay? She always needs to be spoken about. Like This in general is why I actually fell in love with blushing. Made by Mitchell, remember Mitchell, the blush in the shade SPF. Definitely one of my favorites. So beautiful, so pigmented, so flawless, so everything. Like, absolutely love this blush. Alongside of that has to be my NYX Almost Famous one in the shade Almost Fame. What? my nyx sweet cheeks in the shade almost famous i love this like i can use this again and again and again and never get bored the one from beauty bay i really like this blush in the shade coral i went for a phase when i was using it all the damn time like say this was the only blush i had in my collection girl from this super dewy one i would definitely say you got me blushing because it just gives me that sort of marvy look i just love the undertone i love the way it blends very beautiful so i had to mention this um cream blush from fenty in the shade rose latte and in a short period of time i've had this in my collection i probably use the shade more than summertime wine so i had to mention this one the one from relove in the shade baby girl i was surprised because and this duo alone is like the perfect duo ever xx revolution once again shade jitter to be honest i will also say which i can't find yeah i will also say not jitter so this is jaded but i will also say shade jitter she's also my favorite but if i had to pick between the two it would definitely be jaded then i've got my milani one i really really love this one and i love the little sheen it gives you as well beautiful so i was torn between the two once again i was going to mention the exhibit a from nars however i will probably say the one from the beauty bakery palette this shade yeah i need to show you guys yeah like do, do you see that do you no 
this is no on my face now i use summertime wine from fenty and the blush in the shade coral from beauty bay oh my gosh and it's the no and it's the orange but anyway um those are all the blushes and i can safely say that i am a blush addict okay i've got issues i love blush so if you are into blushes i hope this helps you out if you're not into blushes and you want to know where to start I hope this helps you out as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up because that does help me out a lot. And I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. Step on the tune like. Big up my sisters.